Hey guys, so today we'll be changing the Xiaomi M365 standard display to a pro display. Um, what you will need to do is make sure that you have the following tools in place to do this. So let's just go through what you will need. So guys, these are the following tools we will need. So on the left hand side, we have a Stanley knife. Uh, we just need a sharp blade basically to open the zip tie where all the wires are covered in a rubber casing. Then we've got a screwdriver and some bits. If you don't have bits, you can just always use a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. They're the two you will be needing. Um, you need an Allen key size three. You will need a zip tie. You would need something to remove the adhesive from the screen itself. Again, people just use screwdrivers to pull it up. Um, they potentially scratch the surface of their scooter, so I'm not going to be doing that. Um, I'm going a bit extra. I've got the heat gun in place as well to um, get the adhesive to soften up so we can remove it a lot easier. I've got a suction cup as well to lift the screen up. Again, these are all extras that you don't necessarily need. You can apply enough pressure using a screwdriver, a flathead and removing it. I've got the pro display and I've got the pro cover and I've got the adhesive tape at the end. So let's get straight onto it guys. So the first thing we need to do is release the handbrake, handbrake cable. Um, so what we need to do first is on the rear back where you see the cable. We need to loosen it here so that we can relieve some of this cable tension. So as you can see there's a little allen key slot just here. We just need to remove, uh, loosen that up so we can get the actual cable slightly free. And now you can see the cable's gone loose. And now that the cable's loose, we just need to move to the upper braking part where the handle is. So now that we've loosened the cable at the bottom, all you have to do is pull on the cable like so and it literally just slides out then you have to press on the handbrake and you have to relieve the cable and now we've uh, taken the brake cable off so guys once we've removed the brake cable what we need to do next is we need to move over to the top display we're just going to be removing the adhesive from the top display and we're going to be removing the protective screen on top so this step is a bit tricky, you don't want to damage your scooter. So I have my heat gun. And with my heat gun I'm going to apply some heat around. And then I'm going to use something to pry it open. So let's just start warming up. So once you're happy that it's slightly warm, just be wary that this comes in two parts. Um, so we just need to remove each part because um, the scooter I purchased came with a vinyl wrap it's going to make it slightly difficult um, to remove without da damaging the wrap itself so what you want to do is pry it up now I can already hear the adhesive coming off as you can see one side is just lifted which is going to lift the other side don't damage the display guys um, just in case you want to ever go back or if you want to sell it later just slightly twist it and then you can just pull it off like so so you can see there's a crease line forming where it stops and this is another part here so I'm just going to do the same on this side and try lifting it off all in one hit And that's come off now. Again, it would have been easier if you removed each section, but because I'm not trying to damage my vinyl, as you can see, it's still intact. And then just pull it off. So this is the old display. You can see the adhesive going around. That's what I've heated up from the outside. So guys, the next part is that we need to turn the scooter and we need to remove the two screws, which are located here, which connect the top of the Xiaomi um, handlebars to the neck 
Um, so let's just do that now. So guys, for this part, you would need the the factory Allen key that came with your scooter, or if you don't have that anymore, you can use a size free Allen key. And all you need to do is remove the two bolts in here. So guys, once you've removed the front uh, back screws, you, there's another two at the front that you need to remove. So we're just gonna remove those as well. I'll be back shortly. We need to lift open the actual head. So you just need to slide it up. Then once you slide it up, you will see the connection. Um, this is what we had to install when we first bought our Xiaomi scooter. So all you have to do is apply a lot of force and pull it off like so. Um, and now it's off, we just need to work on the actual head itself. So guys, the next step is to remove the three screws. I've just done it in advance. You need a Phillips, small Phillips head to do it. And there's one down here, one on the right here, and one right at the top. Once you've removed all three screws, you just need to pull on this back wire and push up. And you can see the actual motherboard itself just comes right out. You want to take this blue wire all the way through and make sure you don't pull on the pull on these loose wires, grab onto the shrink wrap. And the next stage is you got this little rubber seal here. So with this rubber seal, there's a zip tie on it. You need to remove that so you can access the cables underneath. like so so I've just cut my zip tie open and you just remove the zip tie itself and then this rubber should just slide off so as you can see our connections here so now you should be able to grab the motherboard and now we need to disconnect all three connections just make sure you do not rip the cables So now we've removed the old motherboard, we need to install the new one. So here's the new motherboard. Um, there's a screen protector on it that I'm not going to remove till I'm fully done. And here's the cables. It looks identical to the original standard Pro. Um, if you see along the sides, you get the same wires, the same cables, so it should be a simple installation. So let's just do that now. So what we need to do first, guys, is do the connections again. You can't go wrong with the connection wires. You can't put it in the wrong one because the color matched. So guys, once we've um, connected all three cables, now we have to do the opposite. We have to put the rubber tube back on and then we need to zip tie it again. So grabbing all four connectors, we just need to fold it ever so slightly. Again, just be careful. Like so and just put the rubber casing back on make sure it gets pushed right to the top and then you'll see a bulge at the top here so all you need to do now is put a new zip tie on Doesn't matter which color zip tie. And then just close the zip tie up once you're happy. Like so. And then just cut the excess off. 
Guys, be careful when you're cutting the excess off. Don't cut your cables like so. I need to put this rubber case back in the corner how we opened it. Just tuck it right in. And then when you push down, it should drop. And the cable's long enough. like so and then you just need to use the same screws from the old one and screw all three in so guys at this stage it's worth testing just to make sure that there's power so what i'm going to do is plug it into my scooter and just make sure that it works so give me one second so guys this is the moment of truth i've just plugged the power back in so if we press the on button as you can see it fully lights up and the Bluetooth light is indicating which means that it's not paired to the um, app at the moment so now we need to install the cover so we have the cover and the adhesive tape and we have the top part here don't know why they're separate but they're separate um, so the difference between this cover and the other one is this one has a whole clear square in the middle and this allows you to obviously see the display. Um, so what we need to do is before even applying this adhesive, we need to make sure there's no adhesive around the actual or the frame. I'm just going to quickly tidy that all up and then I'll be back. Guys, once you've removed the adhesive, I'm just going to wipe it down with a bit of alcohol rub. Um, just make sure you don't get it into the motherboard itself. Do a thin amount just to remove any debris. Now the next part guys, um, I'm going to wait till the alcohol dries, we just need to peel away the protective cover, like so. I just now need to apply the adhesive tape. So the top part's quite easy. like so and then we need to put the new screen and new case on top so again we need to peel the backing off let's do the top part first just make sure it's nicely aligned and then once you're happy just push down don't apply too much pressure yet let's just make sure it all lines up let's do the same with this one let's just make sure there's no dirt on the inside if there is best time to do is wipe it now my one is filthy so i'm just going to give it a wipe down guys once you're happy your display is clean you need to apply it on again once you've applied it you're going to have to remove the whole thing completely if you're not happy with it Make sure it's nice and lined up. And once it's lined up, you just need to apply pressure to make sure that it sticks down and stays down. Just do it around the sides, guys. Don't push too much into the center. And there you have the new display attached on. As you can see, it's fully mounted on and there's no gaps. It's quite neat. And you can see the display outline here. So what we need to do now is reverse, reverse the order. We need to put the power cable back in and then we need to put the four screws back on. Um, so once I've done that, I'll show you what's the next stage. Uh, the next part is to put the brake cable back in and then just tighten um, the brake disc at the bottom. 
to make sure that to make sure that the cable is nice and tight so that the brake works so just this part here we just need to do it nice and carefully and make sure that the brake cable is tight enough so that we don't get any issues later so guys due to the length of this video we'll be doing the upgrading using the app and the process in another video so stay tuned for that one um and if you like this video please like and subscribe this has been quite a detailed video hopefully this helps you guys peace out